Roger Goodell, all of them to stop running. Stop running from the truth. Stop running from the people. He wants to be a martyr. But guess what? It ain't working this time. Welcome back to Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. Colin Kaepernick, you guys. Did we really think that we'd be talking about him still? He held a workout over the weekend. That is, he had a workout scheduled for him by the NFL with over 20 teams. Everything he asked for. And then a couple hours before, he bails on them. He says that this isn't fair. There's not be enough transparency. And he says, no, you guys have to come to me at a high school football field as opposed to a legit NFL facility in Atlanta. Why, you ask? Because Colin Kaepernick doesn't actually want to play. He doesn't want to be an NFL player anymore. He's not good enough to be an NFL player anymore, in my opinion. He doesn't want to be judged by teams. He doesn't want to be put on tape. He wanted his own wide receivers. He wanted his own camera crew. The NFL says we can't do that. This is a serious workout. He says no. These are, these are things. These are not things that a person demands if their main concern is football. These are things they do when their main concern is publicity. Now listen to Stephen, what Stephen A. Smith said, and let me know if you agree. This man wanted a chance. 25 teams show up in Georgia at the Atlanta Falcons practice facility, stated our facility, NFL personnel, equipment, everything, video, everything. And what does Colin Kaepernick do? Not Tuesday when he found out about it, not Wednesday, not Thursday, not Friday, Saturday, three hours before the workout. Because of some issue with a liability waiver. Colin Kaepernick wants to change the venue. Colin Kaepernick wants his own receivers. Colin Kaepernick wants to video things himself. Colin Kaepernick wants the media. This Colin Kaepernick, the media can't find him. He ain't done no interviews. He ain't talked to nobody. Media can't find him, but he wants to do it. He wants the media available now in Georgia. Not an NFL facility, a high school. And then YouTube it live. Like the average Joe out there gets to decide if he's on the NFL roster. You don't want to work. You just want to make noise. And you want to control the narrative. It's over. Colin Kaepernick's aspiration in the NFL for an NFL career. It's over. Now, I completely agree with Stephen A. Smith here. I'm sure he's wanted to say this before. He's one of the few outspoken people left at ESPN. Kaepernick doesn't want coaches and scouts going over his abilities. He wants random people to say he looks great, which is what happened, not NFL scouts or personnel saying he looks great. And he wants media to talk to. Now, on the other side, you could say, well, what about this waiver they wanted him to sign and they didn't give him enough notice. It's, it's pretty uh, ridiculous to just be be like a couple days in advance, uh, get up and perform at the level of an NFL quarterback and show us you still got it. Well, to me, the waiver makes sense is what I would say. For a guy who hates the NFL and has sued them and done everything he can to, to make them out to be the monsters that they very well may could be, why take a chance if you're NFL teams? If you don't sign him, it's not crazy to think that Colin Kaepernick is going to try to use this against you and say, well, I tried out for them, I looked great, didn't I? But they still don't want to sign me because I'm being uh, blackballed or blacklisted by the NFL. As for the timing, as analyst Pat McAfee mentioned, whom I respect but disagree with him on this, drop everything and go and work out so we can... We can sandbag you, and uh, we can make you look bad, even though we're, we're saying that we're giving you what you want. We'll, we'll just give you a random workout and, at random time, and it's not fair to Colin Kaepernick. That's what Pat McAfee essentially said. And you might agree with that. But wait a minute. Kaepernick says he's been ready to play this whole time. How are you First, doing? Hey, let me I'm start by you. saying I appreciate y'all coming out. That means a lot to me. Our biggest thing with everything today was making sure we had transparency of what went on. We weren't getting that elsewhere, so we came out here. It's important that y'all are here. Y'all been attacked for the last three years. Y'all continue to be attacked. We appreciate what y'all do. We appreciate you being here today. We appreciate the work you do for the people 
and telling the truth. That's what we want in everything. I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. We all know why I came out here, showed it today in front of everybody. We have nothing to hide. So we're waiting for the 32 owners, the 32 teams, Roger Goodell, all of them to stop running. Stop running from the truth. Stop running from the people. We're out here, we're ready to play. We're ready to go anywhere. My agent, Jeff Nally, is ready to talk to any team. I interview with any team at any time. I've been ready, I'm staying ready, and I'll continue to be ready. And to all the people that came out here today to support, I appreciate y'all, I love y'all. To the people that aren't here, I'm thinking of you. I appreciate you supporting from where you are. We'll continue to give you updates as we hear. We'll be waiting to hear from Roger Goodell, the NFL, the 32 teams. We'll let you know if we hear from them. Ball's in their court. We're ready to go. Ridiculous. <laughs> so we've been ready for three years, but it's the NFL who doesn't want to please the people, you guys. The ball's in their court. No, the ball was in their court, and they passed it. They gave you a nice, perfect chess pass, or maybe a bounce pass is what you want, Colin. The real fundamental. They passed you the ball, and they said, come work out for us. But he's too good for that. I'm too good to go work out for you. You come to me. Now, I understand the power play, but clearly you don't want to play if this goes down and you're Colin Kaepernick. Why? Because you're not Tom Brady, Colin Kaepernick. You're not even Jameis Winston, Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick is not a starting NFL quarterback. He wasn't when he left. He certainly isn't now. He's not even Antonio Brown in terms of ridiculousness. And he's not playing. Or talent is what I meant. Or Antonio Brown is one of the best wide receivers in the game, and not even the Patriots could absorb his ridiculousness. And you think that a second-string, at-best quarterback, teams are going to absorb this ridiculousness for you when you cause this much headache? He just wants to disturb things. He just wants to make more publicity for himself. And as expected, there is celebrity crossover whenever you... Uh, whenever you criticize one of the social justice giants that Colin Kaepernick is. Cardi B says Jay-Z can get him in. Quote, I feel like Jay-Z can bring back Colin Kaepernick. I feel like he has that power. I feel like Jay-Z can do it, the rap star told TMZ. I think he could make a change. I feel like he didn't uh, went on an NFL deal without an agreement. I feel like he went in there like, all right, if you guys want to work with me, y'all, y'all need to put my peoples in there. I feel like he's going to change it, Cardi B said. Now, that makes sense to me. And why do we care what Cardi B says? Well, we don't really. It's just that I want to show you how this is all corporate social justice. This is not an actual plan to help people. This is a plan to help themselves. Cardi B is employed by the NFL. She's paid by Pepsi which is the NFL's biggest sponsor, or one of, maybe Budweiser is, I'm not sure, but they do their halftime shows. And as one user replied, she is clout chasing. Cardi has a Super Bowl commercial. She doesn't care about Colin Kaepernick or police brutality or social injustice. She's looking for attention. Cardi B could have said, hey, you want, uh, you want me for the halftime show? You want me in commercials? Colin Kaepernick should get a tryout. But she doesn't actually care. She's already been paid. She just wants to mention this so that her cult can can support her with more money. Now, she mentions, mentions Jay-Z, who is a much bigger player in this. He just entered into a partnership with the NFL. It turns out people are saying that Jay-Z is not happy with Colin Kaepernick. Surprise, surprise. According to TMZ, Jay-Z has expressed his distaste for Colin Kaepernick and the way they aired his... He aired his workout on Saturday with anonymous sources telling TMZ that he said Kaepernick, quote, turned a legitimate workout into a publicity stunt. Sources reportedly close to Jay-Z told TMZ that he does not approve of the manner of the workout as he feels that NFL was legitimately attempting to offer Colin an opportunity to make his comeback. Is that true? Who knows? I'm betting it is. TMZ, frankly, is one of the best reporting outlets left. They get so many scoops, they're willing to pay for it. Uh, exclusive videos, they're very good at what they do, frankly. But Jay-Z is a businessman. Don't forget, also, he's a big Hillary Clinton guy. Held free concert for her, no one came. So this is the whole regime of social justice. Again, I don't have a problem with legitimate social justice. It's this business regime for political gain. And, well, Jay-Z's on the inside of it. So Jay-Z probably spoke with the NFL, this is my opinion, and said, hey, look, if you think uh, 
I think you should give Colin Kaepernick a chance. A lot of teams are bad this year. They might want the publicity they can get from at least giving him a workout. They don't have great quarterbacks anyways. I'm talking the Dolphins, the Bengals, etc. Don't want to throw them under the bus, you know. But that's the reality. A lot of teams are sh- sucking this year. And the publicity of even just holding a workout for Kaepernick might do them some good. Let him try out and make you look good to some people. If he sucks, don't sign him. NFL says, okay, um, you have a point, I guess, if you if this will seal the deal with you, Jay-Z, because this will make you coming aboard will make us a lot of money, then we'll do it at your at your request, your suggestion. So dad or older brother Jay-Z sets this up for son slash younger brother Colin Kaepernick, and what does he do? He screws him over. Jay-Z gets him a job interview, and his little brother just doesn't show up and says, no, what? you know what, I'm too good for this, you guys got to come to me. I think that's what happened. And uh, if you look at what Jay-Z said previously, I think it falls in line with that. I think we forget that Colin's whole thing was to bring attention to social injustice. So in that case, this is a success. If protesting on the field is the most effective way, then protest on the field. But if you have a vehicle that inspires change, or you can speak to the masses and educate at the same time as well, tell people what's going on so people are not controlling your narrative, not telling you. Your protest is about this. I think we've passed kneeling. I think it's time to go into our actionable items, says Brooklyn-born rapper Jay-Z. I completely agree. Now, Jay-Z is a guy from New York who had a rough upbringing, became a rapper. He's a mogul now and everything. He is in it for corporate interests. Of course, he brought the Brooklyn Nets to Brooklyn. (laughs) But on some level, being a guy from the streets, you have to assume or hope that he wants to still do good. And there's a lot of other uh, black influencers who have said, you know what, you've proved your point, now do something. And he's done nothing. Colin Kaepernick never wanted to play again. He wanted the fame. He was mad that he was sat. He kneeled. He mocked police. He's openly a communist, which makes no sense considering that he's played in the NFL, but I'm sure he has his own silly, stupid opinion. He's got to fight within the system in order to bring that down. I'm sure he's got an explanation for that, I'm sure. But what did he do? He got a deal with Nike. He got specific groups to get money from the NFL uh, that none of their friends in the media bothered to speak about. And they would speak about it if it meant something towards their general cause here. Let's not forget that the NFL is very powerful, but the media had no problem going against them. Nike had no problem going against them. So Colin Kaepernick just funnels, gets money funneled to certain groups of certain people, uh, and that's just to keep them quiet. That's not to make any actual changes or anything. Did a whole video on this a year ago. Colin's whole thing, this is a, the, from the quote of Jay-Z, he said, Colin's whole thing was to bring attention to social injustice. Yeah, what things? <laughs> you can't just say, uh, bring attention to social injustice. Three years later, we still have nothing, no opinion from you about what it is. Look at his original quote from why he kneeled. From This is straight from the NFL site in 2016. I'm not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. To me, this is bigger than football, and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way. There are bodies in the streets and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. So tell me something, Kaepernick. How long did it take for this to not be bigger than football any longer? Was was it one year? Was it two years? Uh, No, wait. Now I need to play football again, you guys. It's no longer bigger than football. People aren't paying enough attention to me anymore. He still hasn't said anything, is my point. Just vague mentions of systemic oppression. Okay, it's been three years. What laws? What uh, what proposals do you have? What policies have been put forth that you support? Silence. What are the facts you're bringing to the table? Nothing. Now, either it's Kaepernick's fault that he's saying nothing, or the media, who are his, who are his best friends... Who are supposed to be the ones, the CNNs, the MSNBCs that care about all this uh, systemic injustice. It's either Kaepernick hasn't said anything or the media just refused to cover it. I'm going to go with the former because I think the media would be all over this. If Kaepernick started trash-talking Trump, if he started trash-talking the Republicans, if he started going to Black Lives Matter events and and speaking there, the media would certainly cover that. If he had a podcast, he'd have all the he'd have T.I. on. But he says nothing, just like all these other groups with fake names and fake messages about fake social injustice. It's all a lie to get you to either give them power, give them money, or for you to vote for the Democrats who will in turn do those things for you.
Now, I'm not saying go vote Republican because the Democrats are evil. Go vote for whomever you want. Go vote for the guy who doesn't know what Syria is, for example. That is not my job. I don't want to tell you who to vote for because when I was learning all this stuff, when I started researching all this stuff for myself, uh, none of the people who I read from or I learned from said, you know what, uh, you must vote for a certain group or party. My job, as I see it, is not to tell you who to vote for. As I see it, it's to filter out the nonsense in the media, which is a large gap in in what I saw. There's You've got the media up here sprinkling uh, misinformation, and I think something actually came off my hand there, sprinkling misinformation, and then you've got the people here who are just like, what is th this information must be true. It's the only information I'm getting. I am the Brita filter in between you and the media. I am not the... Vote for Charlie Kirk at your local TPUSA establishment. No, that is not me. And obviously, I have to be hilarious while doing it because, you know, uh, not that it's that hard to be funnier than some of these other guys. Uh, I'm not going to speak to any names, but you may notice them on YouTube. There are I'm not one of them, and I'm better. The Democrats are a business, but so is the NFL. The Democrats are a much more crooked one, I think. And they're at odds with a big business called the NFL. The only difference is they have the power of the media and the government and officials on their side. And what does that bring them? It brings them a credibility of honesty that does not, that does not exist. You, you hear statements from the NFL. The regular person hears a statement from a big corporation like the NFL. And they say, well, they're, they're trying to make money. They're trying, to, they're trying to win you over and sell you something. When you bring in the government and the media, that sort of muddies the waters a bit. Well, they're politicians, and the media wouldn't really lie to me, would they? So there's got to be some truth to this. Incorrect, my friends. It is just as bad. 